they do make pretty good pets. Oh, now he's back onto the camera. What is going on guys? Andy Gabs coming at you. I am back. Um, obviously I took like a little, maybe a month break, maybe a little bit longer, a month and a half. Uh, and there is a reason for that, but I'm gonna get into that in a video later on this week. Uh, I will be back to normal posting, but I'm gonna talk about a whole bunch of stuff in my next video, so just look out for that one. It'll be out, like I said, later on this week. But today, uh, we are somewhere I haven't been. Klebert and Sons Gator Farm. Uh, so not only do they have alligators, but they have all kinds of other stuff. Alligators, crocodilians, they have Cotamundi, tortoises, all kinds of different stuff. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get in. I also have a brand new DJI Mavic Air 2. So get ready for some cool drone footage. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly I'm gonna be able to capture with the drone at this place. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead, get checked in, and go check out some cool animals. So this place isn't huge, it's not like a big zoo, but they have a lot of cool animals and all kinds of cool stuff. You can kind of see behind me how everything looks. But right when you walk in the door, you have this massive guy right here. I'd say he's at least 100 pounds. Um, alligator snapping turtles, sometimes they look kind of small, but they weigh so much just pure muscle but super cool guy we got another little alligator snapper the glare kind of sucks right there but little guy looks like some little red ear sliders and then there's another it looks like a common snapping turtle under the water right there How you doing? and then some ferrets hey. just right in the beginning so basically I'm just gonna run you guys through and then in a little bit we're gonna get a little bit more hands on with the animals. Uh, so I'm just gonna kinda run you through, show you what they got and then once some of the people clear out that are here, uh, we're gonna get a little bit more hands on. But I will say, even if you come here and you're not filming a video or whatever, you can still interact with a lot of the animals. Like these guys right here, this is a, uh, I'm gonna say blue and gold parrot who I believe is missing a leg. And as you guys know, if you've watched my videos in the past, birds hate the camera. But that guy's got a little peg leg. Still a super, super pretty bird. And then we got a cockatoo over here. He's doing his nice little display for us. Super pretty birds, but again. Anytime I bring the big camera out with the microphone on top, birds just do not like it. I don't know why, what it is, if it's the camera, if they can hear something that we can't hear. Um, but birds, owls, anything that I film with, they don't like it. If I have the smaller camera, like a G7X or something like that, they don't really care, but kind of weird. So we're gonna go ahead and say hi to these birds real quick. I'm gonna put the camera away so we can actually touch them without them wanting to chomp us. I'm gonna try to pet him on camera. Oh, there you go. Once you, uh, once I started like actually petting them, they were both very, very nice. He said um, they're both very friendly. And I guess this one can say a whole bunch of words, but we haven't gotten him to talk yet. Can you say hello? Can you say YouTube? Pretty bird. Pretty bird. I think I have another friend that wants to say hello. So this guy is missing a foot. He, uh, I guess he got kind of gotten by a raccoon at some point in his life, but still both super pretty, super friendly birds. Can I see your wing? Oh, good bird. Good bird. Both super friendly, now let's move on to some reptiles. All right, so walking on back, this is kind of how they have it set up with some different like pens for everything. Um, in here, it looks like we got a porcupine sitting in that back corner right there. See if I can get you guys a better view of him. So there's that porcupine right there. You can kind of see he's doing a little threat display. All of his little quills are stuck right up. And I uh, definitely do not want to get a quill in me from this guy, but super pretty. And you really don't have to worry about porcupines unless they turn their backs to you. They like charge backwards like that. <laughs> Um, and then that's how they get you. But if they run at you from the front, obviously all of their quills are pointed backwards. So you'd be okay if they ran at you from the front, but unfortunately for humans and other animals that want to mess with them, they know to turn their backs and just like sprint backwards. This little guy is next to the porcupine. He literally ran over to come say hi. Oh, this is a... This is a little wallaby. Yeah, so like I said, once, um, once a couple people leave, We'll be able to get these guys out and actually kind of play with them a little bit. But this guy is super, super cute. And literally he ran over from the back corner of the cage yeah. just to come say hi to us. We also do have Scarlet with us today. She is enjoying a Taco Bell quesadilla. She's enjoying her time so far. But I will say it is roughly 115 degrees right now with the humidity. Um, it is quite hot. I'm definitely going to be... I'm definitely gonna be sweaty by the time this is over. The wallaby was just giving Kelsey some kisses. I thought he was gonna bite me. 
And then over next to the little wallabies enclosure, we got what looks like some sulcatas. Got this big guy right here. I think I just woke him up from a nap. It's okay, bud. Didn't mean to wake you up, I'm sorry. These guys have a nice big pen. As you can see around, pretty decent size. There's a couple more right in there. Some smaller guys and a pretty big one too. And right across from the turtle and wallaby, we got this pond that is nice and brown. Uh, a lot of turtles like their water kind of nasty. Not 100% sure what kind of turtles they are. Oh yeah, everything here literally just comes out of the water and wants to come say hi. I'm assuming that's because they sell food buckets, so they associate people coming over and people walking by them to eating. But as you can see right below me, the turtles have all definitely come out to say hello because they want some snacks. So the animal that I was most excited for coming here right next to the turtles is this cute little dude right here. This is a Kodamundi, who we are definitely gonna be able to take out and interact with. Super cool, ooh, ow, he just scratched me a little bit, that's all right. You know, maybe he doesn't like the camera or he's a little freaked out or he might even want some food. But I have seen this guy out with other people and he is a super friendly little dude. I probably just scared him a little bit, my fault. So right next to the little adorableness of the Kodamundi who is actually being much nicer. Oh, no, he got my, <laughs> he grabbed yeah. my microphone. That's what it was. I told you every single animal wants to eat the microphone. He just grabbed it. Luckily, I was able to get it back from him. Next to the Kodamundi, we've got some gators, some pretty small guys. There's one. Oh, there's a couple more right there. They got their little pond, their little plant for some shade. So they were telling me, you know, the other day they had to close for a few days because little Timmy, he, uh, he jumped into the alligator cage and, you know, unfortunately, Timmy, he, he didn't make it, you know? That's what happens when you don't follow the rules and you jump in, you know, there's Timmy's head. Obviously, I'm joking. Oh, that guy right there is mad that I'm getting kind of close and into his business. He wants me to leave Timmy all to himself. Then you turn around from the gators and there are some turkeys and there was an emu that was trying to get my attention too. I think this is an emu. I might be incorrect. Hi, buddy, can I pet you? Oh yeah, you're a nice bird. It's okay. I have been chomped by these guys more times than I would like. So they always, they freak me out a little bit. Yep, see, he's not trying to bite me, but they just freak me out a little bit. No, please, yep, see? They bite me every single time. He wasn't even trying to go for the microphone. That was a straight up hand bite. And in with him, yeah, these are just normal turkeys. Hey, listen, listen, bro chacho. Leave me alone. Microphone is not for you. Not for you. Ow, he just bit my arm. Wait, do it again for this video. I don't like it. Oh! Why, why do they do that? It's not like it hurts or anything. It doesn't really hurt. They just, it more just like scares you, I guess, than anything. Um, still cool animals. Now we're gonna go ahead and walk around and see what else they have. I'm not sure what else is here. Oh, I'm sorry, before we do that, right next to the little evil emu, just some regular old goats. Hi, buddy. What's up? You a nice goat? Uh, so I think these goats actually came from my friend Reptile Klung. I think my last video was actually showing off his collection. His sister had a bunch of goats or something and she was moving, so I know they all came here. I don't know if these are all hers or some of them or maybe even none of them. Maybe they're in a different spot. Uh, but now we're gonna continue walking around. I know they have a Gaboon Viper. I think they might have some other stuff too. So we're gonna walk around and see what we can find. I didn't even see in that enclosure with the albino uh, red ear sliders, if you look down, there's some caiman just chilling out right here. I believe these are little dwarf came in. Uh, kind of hard for me to get a great angle on him. There's one you saw him move his head. Green body, orange head. Super pretty. I thought that was him hissing at me, but there's, they're doing like work over there. And I was like, wow, that is the loudest came in hiss I've ever heard. But super pretty guys. And then I believe in here, there's a bunch of alligators and or crocodiles. We're gonna go see if we can find any. So right there in the center of the screen, you can see one that just looks like a gator. There's also one poking its nose out right in the middle of the screen over there. As I said, it is extremely, extremely hot today. So everything I think is kind of just hanging out in the water. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and fly my drone up, show you guys what this place looks like from above.
So this is actually the enclosure that has the Crocs in it. You can see one right in the middle, but again, everything is kind of just hiding today, unfortunately. But this is the cool Croc cage, so they got a nice little pond. Uh, there's a, looks like a pretty big one right in the middle right there. Well, right when we walked in, I evidently missed this whole building. I'm sure you guys saw it, but I didn't. And it says snakes and much more animal house. Uh, I believe we're allowed to just go in here, I think. Yeah, we can go in. So just a cool little reptile room. I'll show you guys around what they have in here. So we got this guy right here. This is a low white uh, pied ball python. Got a little beardy, decent sized berm who looks like it just shed. In here, this says caution venomous. Yeah, there it is. That is a beautiful gaboon viper right there. There's actually someone around this area that's selling a albino monocled cobra right now for 300 bucks, stupid cheap. And I actually hit these guys up and asked if they wanted it, um, but unfortunately, they said no. It looks like we got some eggs incubating right here. Uh, that looks like it might be an anaconda or a retic, I can't really tell. Another beautiful snake moving over. We got this rad little dude, obviously a little Asian water monitor. I mean, not little, it's probably like four feet long with its tail. Another little Burmese python right there. And then ending off with that big tick. Now we're gonna introduce Scarlet here to this wallaby. We're gonna let him out and kind of see, uh, see what he wants to do and see how Scarlet reacts. <laughs> what do you think? Could you pet him? Pet him like this. Pet him. Could you pet him? Can you pet the wallaby? Look it. He's so nice. He's so nice. Oh, good girl. Okay, you're done? All right. Well, hey, I mean, she did pet him. I think I have a turtle trying to eat me right now. This guy's trying to burrow through my shoe as we speak. Oh, super cute little guy. These guys are so pretty and friendly. Scarlet, tell mom we gotta get a pet wallaby. I'm fine with that. You guys heard that. Could have gotten there with him, play with him. Yeah, I saw. All right, guys, so now we're about to go inside the Kodamundi cage. The audio probably sounds a little bit different. I did take the microphone off just because he was trying to rip it off when I was outside of the cage, so I imagine if I go in, he would probably get it off. But let's go inside. All right, so I am in the cage with him. He's right here. See if he wants to climb all over me. Hi, bud. I like the little noise they make. A little squeak. What's that? You're going to be famous. Oh, you want to chew on it? She's uh, chew is it a she or a he? He's chewing on my um, the little Joby gorilla stick, the thing that I have so I can hold the camera. What's up? What's up? What's up? The little bites do not hurt too. Little play bite. I'm gonna set up my camera in the corner and just kind of sit here and play with him for a second. Listen, what are you doing? I'm trying to set up the camera but he's more concerned about biting the uh, joke. There we go. Hi, buddy. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Dude, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Kelsey, I think, wanted to get in here and do this, but now that she sees him like playing with me and biting and stuff, I'm not sure if she's gonna be down. Come here. These guys definitely don't make great pets for everyone. But if you can give them the space they need and the attention they need, they do make pretty good pets. Oh, now he's back onto the camera. Oh, there it goes. So that's the never Yeah. Now he's like, don't take it away. And I would say I can put it, you know, oh, he smudged it. I could say I could put it like up on here, but they are quite inept climbers. So I doubt that would do anything for me anyways. We got a crazy goat situation. Yeah. Come here, bud. Yes. <laughs> All of them are trying. Hi. I'm like, hurry, hurry before he Hi. Goes. I think he thinks <laughs> they have food for him, but as you guys can see, he just climbs straight up. Come here, bud. What you doing, buddy? Oh, what? 
Oh, what? That one's good. Oh, what? Yeah, oh, what? Like, You're a crazy little guy. You are so hair. cool. Hey guys, so we did end up leaving uh, right after I shot that video with the Coda Mundi. It was just super, super hot out. Um, definitely gonna go back there and make another video. They had actually just moved to that facility from a different facility, so I think they're still working on kind of getting everything set up, getting all the enclosures like fixtured out and everything like that. And I know they're gonna be expanding even more to add more animals and bigger enclosures and stuff like that. But places like that are super cool, you know, people can go there and actually get hands on with animals, and I think that can like spark people's passion and stuff for animals in general, but reptiles too. You can like feed the little baby gators that they had, and actually when we were leaving, they did bring out one of the baby gators, but I'd already put my camera away and stuff. But I promise I will be going back. Please check them out on social media. I'm gonna link all of their stuff down in the description. They're super, super nice, friendly guys. It's only 10 bucks to go in there, and you can, like I said, you can play with the wallabies, you can pet the Kotamundi, all kind of cool stuff like that. Um, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, in my next video, I'm gonna be going over why I haven't been posting and the uh, kind of problem that I encountered with my cage build. Um, and the Asian water monitor, so you guys might have an idea of why, but I will get into that in the next video. The cage is still in the garage and everything, and you also might notice forest cage, the Amazon tree boa is gone, but I'll get into that end of the next video. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. I'll talk to you guys soon, peace.